Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 29. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 26.2 to 30. Hey, this YouTuber asked, hey, I have a list of customers with colors on this sheet, and on the next sheet, I want to drop down so I can select any one of the customers and have it appear, but I also want the color to appear over here. All right, let's see how to do this. I'm going to first name this range. Now, here's a great thing. We have a column here with a field name at the top. So if you simply highlight the whole column with a field name and use the keyboard shortcut for name selection, Control-Shift-F3, Control-Shift-F3, and there it sees. It thinks it's in the top row. I'm going to click OK. If you don't believe it, then click this and go to Customer ID. Boop! It highlights just that. By the way, you know, if you forget a lot of this stuff, I always have notes at the top of these sheets. So you should download them and check them out. All right, now let's go over to the sheet here. And I'm going to use data validation first, and then we'll do conditional formatting second. Now, data validation in 2007 is data, and then it's over here, data validation. In 2003, you go to data menu, data validation, the keyboard shortcut that works in both, Alt, DL, DL. Now I'm going to click over here on the Settings tab, and I'm going to allow a list. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut for Paste Name, F3. And then I have to remember what it is. Oh yeah, Customer ID. Double click that. It puts the equal sign in. Click OK. And there we have uh, our list. Now we want to add conditional formatting. Now the trick is, um, and this YouTuber says, hey, I want, oh, no, the, the trick here is we have a bunch of webs. And for any web, we want it to be uh, one, two, three. So we don't want to have a conditional formatting true-false formula for every single one. So we notice a pattern. All of these have web as the first three characters. All these have TEC as the first three characters. And these rad as the first three characters. So we'll use that. We'll use the left function. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to conditional formatting. Home ribbon, a styles, conditional formatting in 2003. It's format menu, conditional formatting, but the keyboard shortcut that works in all, Alt O D. Then you have new rule, use formula. In 2003, when you open up the conditional formatting, you have to use the first text box and, and text box and select is formula. Then you just type your formula right here equals LEFT of what? This cell right here, comma, three, close parentheses. The left function is going to look whatever's in this cell and take the, the first three characters from the left. And then we want to say equals, and we'll do our first one, which is in quotes, web, end quote. And web gets purple, so I'm going to click on this formatting and I have to you can select whatever color you want I have to go to more colors in 2000 and uh, I don't even remember what color I selected I think it was this one I still like all the these basic colors from the earlier version so I always have to select more these are based on themes by the way if you change the theme in 2007 those change so I'm gonna click OK and there OK so that one's done now I need to click OK and add a new one uh, new rule this formula equals L E equals L E F T of this formula, this cell right there, comma three, close parentheses, equals in quotes, and the next one, next one is T E C. And then uh, the format for that is more colors. Uh, I think it was this one right here. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Now, um, when you're doing conditional formatting, if there's three conditional formattings and there's only three things going in the cells, you can just do two of them, and then we'll color the other one yellow. And when it doesn't come up one of these, it'll be yellow. So click OK. Now, I'm going to go up to Home and then the Paint bucket, or I could click on the cell and Control-1. That's the keyboard shortcut for format cells. Fill or Patterns in 2003. Click on the yellow, click OK. So now, as we select our web, each one of those, boom, purple, purple, purple. As we select our tech, each tech one, it's green, green, green. And as we select our rad, which is at the bottom, it's yellow, yellow, yellow. All right, so that's how to do uh, 
data validation and conditional formatting from a different sheet, but also an interesting twist to have color um, on all of the, uh, on a pattern we recognize the first three characters. All right, we'll see you next YouTubers Love Excel.